okay good morning guys so we started this batch on monday so monday i gave a demo and uh, where i covered like uh, trainer introduction and the course content and what are the career process prospects for performance testing and what are the compensation packages what are the packages in service based and product based company that you can expect right and yesterday we started uh, computer fundamentals because most of my students will be you know from non computers background so i started with computer fundamentals so i named it as know your computer okay so kyc know your computer right so wherein i covered like uh, what is operating system how to check your system configuration and what is ip address how to and how to check that ip address what is public ip and what is private ip what is ipv4 and ipv6 how to check your host name what is host name how to check the host name right so we covered till here yesterday in the yesterday session so today so i am going to complete those computer computer fundamentals okay it is in matter let me close this so i am going to uh, cover rest of the concepts here and tomorrow i'll start with sdlc as per the plan so uh, i'll start with software development life cycle tomorrow so today let us try to ta target to complete this computer fundamentals okay so if you are already working on if you are you know if you are already aware of these concepts you can skip today's session because i you know uh, i know some people some experienced guys also joined today so if you are already aware of this or if you don't if you feel that you don't know this you, know, you don't require this you can skip for today okay and uh, you know like tomorrow i'll be covering sdlc and testing life cycle so let me give that uh, you know plan for tomorrow also testing life cycle sdlc and testing life cycle will be covered tomorrow and i uh, will start performance testing concepts from day after tomorrow onwards performance testing life cycle right so this is the plan list so accordingly you can plan so whether you know from which date you want to join so yesterday some four to five people confirmed their joining this is for them and some of them are already experienced right so this is for them this already working on manual testing so for them you know they may not be requiring this right if you are interested to join that's when i don't have any issues most welcome all right now let us uh, let let us uh, know uh, continue and complete this uh, computer fundamentals okay now yesterday i asked you to explore what is lan and wan and also i created one google classroom and i gave some assignment over there right okay yes sir yeah so i will add the members who confirmed their joining yesterday i will add you uh, those members also today after the session i added right and i gave one assignment yesterday to uh, to start learning excel and word basics how many of you have started that yeah excel have started but i did not get time for work excel have started. okay okay so you can you know like you have 10 days time so you can uh, uh, go through one uh, two or three videos daily two or three recorded sessions or two sorry two or three training videos in excel and word right so you have that in help file go to help file for those who joined today if you are, so we will be using excel and word almost on a daily basis right not only performance testing whether you are into manual testing or automation or performance or security testing or development side we will be using both excel and word predominantly uh, almost on a daily basis so we need to know some excel basics you not you need not be an expert but you need to know how to use excel and a uh, word at a basic level so for that if you are good to this if you are new to this sorry if you are new to this go to help show training go to show training and there are some videos over here provided by microsoft team right excel video training so in the same way in word also you will have some training videos so please go through those uh, training videos okay so no need of joining any course for this so you can just go to training videos quick start right and edit format text layout text layout pages etc so go through these videos go through one or two videos daily but you know assimilate and practice those concepts please practice those on a daily basis and for the first 10 days you will not have any scripting assignment for the first 10 to 15 days you will not have any scripting assignments 
so utilize this time for learning these excel basics and word basics okay and following these you know uh, these uh, fundamentals performance testing fundamentals are you know computer fundamental concepts I assimilate this as well as learn excel and word basics for the test for the first 10 to 15 days right and i'll i will be giving assignments regularly in the google classroom and you will be getting an email once i add your gmail id uh, you will be getting assignments so those who join today please share your gmail id if you haven't shared it to me so please ping me your gmail id zoom chat or whatsapp to me okay here is my whatsapp number guys please save my whatsapp number so that you will get uh, you know broadcast messages i will not i cannot send one on one messages so i'll generally sending broadcast messages through our CRM application. We are using some CRM application. Okay. So unless until you save my WhatsApp number, you will not get those broadcast messages. Clear guys. So please share your, okay. So someone posted in, Ramesh posted in, in Zoom chat saying that uh, Excel is not showing that uh, help option and those training videos, right? So you will see this help option only when you are using a licensed version. But uh, I think uh, you, know, you are using a pirated version. That's why it is not showing that help option. I'm not sure, 100% sure though. If you don't have these training videos, if you don't have help option and training videos, please go through some YouTube videos. In YouTube, you have a lot of videos on Excel and Word, right? You have videos on a lot of things in YouTube, right? So please go through those videos. Okay, Ramesh. Okay. okay. Now, what is SDLC? So, SDLC stands for Software Development Lifecycle. Right? So, whenever any software project is being developed, Right? Let's say, you know, some client want to do, uh, develop some web application or a mobile application or a desktop application, whatever it is, right? We have different types of applications, right? We have web applications, mobile applications, desktop applications, right? Mobile applications are called as apps. Uh, let me open your class notes. Did I create a Word document for your class notes, guys? I think I remember yesterday we have created one April 2023, yes. So this would be your class notes guys. Okay, I'll share this document with you. You can download it. I'll give you full permissions on this. You can download this. So web applications, applications, when you say applications, we are generally refer, referring to web applications. Okay. And when you say apps, apps means whenever we are referring to mobile applications, we will call them as apps. That is a difference. There is a difference between application and, and apps. This term is generally used for mobile applications. Whereas this app, this term is used for web applications. Okay. Now, and not only web, web and mobile applications, but we have desktop applications as well. Isn't it? Desktop applications as well. Desktop applications means the application which we need to install on our machine. For example, you are using Zoom meeting that is installed on your machine, right? Yes or no, guys? Those who joined through laptop, did you install Zoom meeting or you are joining from a browser like this? You can join a Zoom meeting from a browser also like this. Go to open a tab in a browser and type zoom.us and click on join meeting and enter the meeting ID. This is one way to join the meeting. The other way is you installed, most of you might have installed Zoom meeting on your machine. Yes or no, guys? Please respond, guys. Yes, sir. How many of you installed and how many of you joined from a browser? How many of you installed Zoom meeting and using it? And how many of you joined from a browser? Install Zoom meeting. Hmm? Did anyone join from browser? Did anyone join directly from a browser without installing Zoom meeting? Okay, seems like most of you installed, right? So when you install on your machine, that is called as a desktop application. Okay. If you install any application on your machine, that is called a desktop application. For example, I have Zoom installed on my machine, Slack installed on my machine, right? Postman tool installed on my machine, GitHub desktop installed on my machine. Isn't it? 
So all these are desktop applications, whatever you install on your machine, those are called as desktop applications. Okay. Zoom meeting, we basically install Zoom meeting client here, client software, right? Most of you install Zoom meeting client software on your machine, right? So these are desktop applications, or if you have Word or Excel, right, installed on your machine, those are also desktop applications, right? But you have some applications if you are if you are joining the same meeting, Zoom meeting from a browser by entering the meeting ID, you are using a web application, isn't it? So these are called as thin client applications, thin client applications. All web applications are called as thin client applications. And all the desktop applications are called as thick client applications. Thick client applications, why they are called as thick client is that application should, will be installed on your machine and it will take CPU, memory, RAM, more CPU, more memory, and more RAM or, or more uh, disk space on your machine, right? Those are called as thick client applications, right? So important interview question, what is the difference between thick client and thin client applications? Or did you ever work on thick client application on AdWords? Did you work on thin client applications only or did you ever work on thick client applications? When you say thick client, they are referring to desktop applications. Okay. So remember this technology, thick client and thin client. We already input in our laptop, mean that is the thick client application. Hello. Install some application on your laptop or desktop. So that is called as a thick client application. Okay. But if you are using any application through a browser, from a browser, right? All browser based applications, let me write it in this way. All browser based applications are called as thin client applications. Okay. <clears throat> Next step. Uh, where are we? Yeah. So, an application, you know, or any project can be for developing a web application or a browser or a mobile application or a desktop application. Now, so first, you know, in the first phase of SDLC, development team will collect the requirements from the client that is called as requirement gathering and analysis phase. First, you know, suppose you suppose a client want to develop a web application. For example, I want a website for my training institute. Let's say I want a website for my training institute. So, and I give that work to some developers, some team of developers or some service based company, let's say, right? Now they will collect my requirements. How does that, how should that application web application look like? Or, you know, how many modules it should have, right? And how many, what is the target user load? How many users are you expecting, right? So all this information and do you know, what is your budget? They will ask me, what is my budget? So based on that, they will go ahead on the technologies, isn't it? So first they will collect the requirements from me, from the client, right? Or you are working in a service-based company as a developer. So you have to, and uh, you got a project from one of the client, one of your customer. So you will first collect the, their requirements. So, you know, uh, like what type, uh, uh, let's say, uh, what type of application do you want to develop? You want to develop a browser-based application or a mobile application or a desktop application, isn't it? And then what is your budget? What is, you know, how does, how should the application look like, right? Uh, it should be like a mobile friendly or not, or not required, isn't it? Nowadays we have mobile browsers as well, right? So some, some websites like look very good on mobile apps also, isn't it? Mobile compatible web applications, right? So they will collect view all the requirements in the requirement analysis phase. And now there will be an architect team for the developers, development architects, right? They will design the application, designing in the sense, which programming language the application should be developed. Front end, what should we use for front end? What should we use for back end, et cetera, et cetera, right? And what database we have to use, isn't it? How should the pages look like, right? What should be the background color, foreground color? All these, you know, will be decided in the designing phase. That means the application will be designed in the designing phase by the architects, right? Now, once the application is designed, right, then developers will start writing the code that is implementation phase. This is nothing but implementation phase. Implementation phase means 
developers will start writing the code that is implementation phase right now uh, when developers are writing the code testing team will be testing the application right that is testing phase that is the other phase okay nowadays you know as soon as the development is started testing also will be started in parallel nowadays for any project testing will be started in parallel with the development okay please remember this that is you know every project is following agile methodology nowadays agile means what is the meaning of agile agile means quick and uh, to move quickly and easily right or it is an iterative approach to to project management and software development that helps teams deliver value to their customers faster and with fewer headaches right so the biggest you know the biggest change from uh, in agile compared to waterfall model is previously all the projects used to follow waterfall model waterfall model means in waterfall model one stage one phase will start after previous phase is completed that is waterfall model i'll show you one on some other uh, you know picture for waterfall model observe here in waterfall or else if you do a google search for waterfall model waterfall model in software right so in waterfall model it is a linear sequential flow that means any phase in the development process begins after the previous phase is completed each phase depends on the deliverables of the previous one right or each phase starts after the previous phase is completed that is waterfall model each phase here you can see this in a waterfall model each phase must be completed before the next phase can begin and there is no overlapping in the phases and waterfall model is the earliest sdlc approach that was used for software development means previously before agile came into picture wow well, every software development uh, uh, life cycle used to follow this waterfall model but nowadays from many years not nowadays means not from last month or last year from many years like you know we uh, we are using agile methodology almost from 10 years more than 10 years all the software projects are following agile methodology now what is agile methodology is in agile methodology so as soon as the development is started testing will be started right as soon as the development is started that is one of the important characteristics of agile methodology there are couple of other characteristics also but agile methodology means this testing will be started as soon as the development is started clear guys so but this is what model project has done so once develop, here it is showing that you know after development is completed testing will start this is waterfall model process diagram or this is a typical sdlc typical software development life cycle diagram now so once testing is completed that application will go into production that is called as evaluation phase once the testing is completed that application will go into production what is meant by production environment or what is meant by production production environment means nothing but live environment live environment right that means suppose if you are using amazon we are using production environment of amazon or we are using live environment of amazon right or you are using flipkart let's say flipkart or big basket isn't it so these are live environments these are you these are available to the clients isn't it big basket or any websites like red bus or abi bus or any ircdc all these are production environments production environments means which is used by end users or customers clear guys that is called as production environment now once the testing is completed your application will be pushed into production that is called as evaluation phase okay so clear guys so this is a typical software development life cycle okay now we are not interested in this require i mean designing phase or we are not interested in this development phase but we are interested in testing phase right so we are interested in testing phase now let us discuss what is the testing life cycle what are the typical phases in software testing so let us see that right so before move discussing about testing life cycle uh, one of my favorite quote about testing so to tell somebody that they are wrong is called as criticism but to do so officially is called as testing 
so as a tester out our job is to find out defects in the project right isn't it or the application as a tester or a software test engineer our responsibility will be to find out mistakes right now let us go to testing life cycle so this is testing life cycle so i'll stop it here for today and we'll uh, start uh, fresh tomorrow in the next session uh, however like uh, these are the different phases in testing first developers does unit testing and then integration testing will be done and then functional testing performance testing security testing there are a couple of other testings also like user acceptance testing etc cetera, etc cetera. i did not include all those i have included important ones for us okay so first testing starts by will be done by developers that is called as unit testing that is also called as white box testing and then integration testing will be done and then functional testing will be done we will discuss all these in the next session tomorrow session in detail all right with examples i will explain this with examples after you know apart from functional testing performance testing is a non functional testing okay so tomorrow i'll explain this testing life cycle and i'll give an introduction to non functional testing or performance testing also if time permits i'll stop it here guys for today any queries before we close the session for today sir how to download these uh, uh, word or excel word files sir this class notes document you are saying yes sir Okay. I will give you access. I did not share it to anyone yet. I will give you okay, access to it, and you can download the class notes. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, just show me one, sir. Desktop application one. Desktop application. Zoom meeting is a desktop application, man. See, I am using yeah. a desktop application now to connect to to join this meeting. Or you know, suppose if you are using, uh, see, see here, you know, I have WhatsApp, right? so you can use whatsapp from a browser like this right everyone is aware of this right you can use whatsapp from a browser using this url web.whatsapp.com so this is a browser based application right yes or no everyone knows this right everyone may be using already right or know this already that you can open whatsapp from from a browser or else you can install whatsapp on your machine and you can this is a desktop application observe here you can install whatsapp application on your machine and without using browser you can open whatsapp on your machine using a desktop application also this is a desktop application clear are you installed you know when you install microsoft office are you you get this uh, microsoft word excel powerpoint and all these on your machine those are also desktop applications or when you install load runner or jmeter on your machine those are desktop applications right we'll discuss that you'll understand that so we will install jmeter we'll set up jmeter on your machine or load runner on our machine so these are all examples for desktop applications so all browser based applications are called as thin client applications whereas the applications that you install on your machine those are called as desktop applications is it clear clear okay okay let me pause recording otherwise it is getting extended okay see you tomorrow guys and uh, please you know share your feedback on my youtube channel guys for these demo sessions these are public videos so please you know share your feedback Okay, I'm pausing the recording and stopping here for today, and we'll continue tomorrow. Uh, catch you tomorrow same time, right? And please share your Gmail ID so that I can I can uh, I need your Gmail IDs to add to the Google Classroom where I will be giving assignments. All right, and uh, also please uh, save my WhatsApp number so that you know you will get updates from our CRM application. Okay. updates on the new batch as or you know any other updates all right save my whatsapp number so and you know you will not you will get my this uh, notifications demo notifications uh, right this morning you received one notification right so you will receive those you know only when you save my whatsapp number you will receive those otherwise i have to ping you personally which is not possible 
So please, you know, save my contact and subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on all notifications if you want to receive any updates on the new batches or interview questions or referral openings. Okay. All right, then see you tomorrow. Have a nice day.